chapter 11, we find ourselves meeting a new character uh, who is named Momi, and he lives up in the trees. He is a neighbor of sorts with Kira, and so that is who trapped her. He had traps set out around his house um, to catch things like leopards um, and other animals to do what with, I don't know, either to protect himself, to eat, to use his um, fur. Um, we didn't really get details on that, but that's what the trap was for. Um, so if you think back to your uh, little door project that we did a million years ago um, with the rainforest, everyone drew different animal pictures. Think of those animals when you're thinking about living in trees, right? So leopards, we know, um, lived toward the bottom layers of the forest floor, so either on the bottom or in that top um, next layer up of the trees. So leopards um, kind of climbed through the trees as well, and so he was hoping to trap one, um, which got Kira instead, and so they decided to hang out and talk for a little bit. Um, he promised to give her some salt if she used her time to sit and chat with him. So we find out that he is not an original tree person, and we also learn that most of the people who lived in the trees didn't really live there their whole lives or their whole generation. So the treetops are a place where people go to escape. So they're running away from a horrible life. They're running away from either things like flooding in their village, fires, um, drought, war, any of the horrible things that can happen to a community and they need to escape to someplace else. People have um, gone to the trees to escape, so it's a place where they can hide and they can feel safe and they don't have to think about the horribleness that was their life before. And that's kind of how the treetops came to be a place to live. So pretty much everyone there um, originally came from somewhere else, just like Kira, and had escaped something horrible, just like Kira. Um, so she's kind of learning more about that. She still doesn't want to think about her horrible life in the past and still tries to hide that from everyone. Um, a couple of things that Momi said to her kind of connected with her, though. She asked him why he moved a lot. And his response to her was, um, when you move a lot, you realize which things really matter to you, um, so you don't collect a lot of clutter and a lot of stuff, and also realizing that the things don't really matter. It's who you're with, it's the people you're with, which um, hopefully you guys connected to with the intro song for today. Um, that go along with this chapter. So another thing that he talked about with her was um, holding on to her stories. We know that she, through her father, was also a storyteller. Um, that was her father's profession. He went around, he collected stories, he told stories. The reason why storytelling is so important to humans is because it's a connection to the past. It explains a lot of feelings and emotions and it's just a connection to people you learn things you share experiences um, all of that is very important to the human condition and so he warned her to not forget about that to not let go of that and to keep her stories even though she was trying to hide them and bury them and forget about them and so he was encouraging her to share what she um, was not ready to do yet, but um, he's probably going to keep pushing her on it, and hopefully she realizes that the story of her life, of her family, um, will have an impact on someone else, um, especially if the takers are still out there, and if that's a threat to her still, or any of the people um, out there still that she can help by knowing about them and knowing what they possibly can do to a community. So um, even though that's something she's not ready to think about or speak about at this point, she is still remembering it, and she's still remembering those pieces of her old life. And that was kind of Momi's point to her, was to not forget about that. 